Hey, quite the chap here for Golfers RX. I hit my 9-iron 175 yards one time. So now, naturally, I try and hit it 180 yards in today's video. Doctor? 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 Saying that we hit the ball longer than we actually do is not a new issue. It's an issue that's been lingering for as long as egos have existed. Now, leaving the ball short of the green or short of the pin is not always a bad option. Sometimes that works out. But if you are consistently leaving the ball short of the green or short of the pin, it's because you don't hit that particular club that far. This is a simple fix that you can figure out on the driving range or on a quiet evening at the golf course. Use the 100 yard marker as your target and figure out which club gets you there on a consistent basis. You know, don't baby it there. Don't try and rip a ball and get it there. Just your regular swing. Where does it land around the 100 yard marker? With what club? Then do the same thing with the 150 yard marker. Then maybe up to the 200 yard marker. The 100 yard marker and the 150 yard marker, these two clubs alone will give you a better idea of how far you hit every other club. If you have access to a portable launch monitor, even better, use it. It'll save you strokes. It's as simple as hitting the right club to the right distance. But you need to figure out what club gets you there consistently. Not that one time, but one that gets you there consistently on your good shots and even close on your bad shots. If you're liking these videos, if you're liking this quick short format, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to us on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to us at golfersrx.com, visit our website, sign up to our newsletter, get these tips emailed to you directly, and leave us a comment in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep it simple.